Happy Friday! So here I am, and it's Friday, and I'm making a YouTube video for you, like I promised I would. Um, anyway, good way to introduce yourself. This is Rowdy. He's one of my three Palm G's. Um, he's kind of special, and he'll be doing stuff like this the entire video. Uh, he's about a year and a half. He's a Palm G, and he's my baby boy. So, uh... A couple weeks ago, a girl named underscore beautiful soul underscore seven direct messaged me on Instagram and asked me to start making YouTube videos again. Um, so here I am. Thank you for doing that. You're one of the reasons I'm here. Second person would be Allie Pearl. Uh, she is the first person that commented on my YouTube video last week. And um, she asked me to do a video called or about the struggles of being an adult. And so here I am, and that's what we're doing this week. Will you stop? <clears throat> so, we're just going to start off here. I'm going to try to make this as short-ish and sweet as possible. I don't want you to have to sit through a 10-minute video next week, or this week. First thing would be, where in the entire fuck are the matches for all my shit going? My socks. For me, leg warmers. Uh, belts. Or sweatshirt strings. Or shoes. For fuck's sake, where are you going to take one shoe off and then going to a different place and taking off your other shoe. Uh, I can kind of understand that for women because we do the whole does this shoe look better with this outfit or does this shoe look better with this outfit. But generally, you put the shoe back, I mean, I don't have just like six different sh I don't. Regardless, we all know that there's no sock monsters. There's no uh, little part in your dryer that you can go in. It's not a lint trap. There's no sock trap. I just want to know where all my shit goes. Because I would really like to find a lot of those things. Uh, second thing would be why, as, an, as a kid, like as a 12 year old, we would go on MySpace and we would change our backgrounds and it was a visual thing for us. We would change our backgrounds and our songs and change our profile pictures and add stuff to our page to make it look so cool. And now we don't care about all that, but we're, I feel like we're more stuck in social media now than we were back then. And I think it might have to do with these, but um, I just feel like older people, like me, I'm 25 and I am on Facebook all the fucking time. And I sometimes wish I wasn't, but there's so much good stuff on the internet, you just have to see it. Uh, that is weird to me. I don't know. A uh, third thing would be being the driver. So whether that be being the driver to go get lunch or being the driver to make a trip to another state, or especially being the designated driver when your friends are shit canned at the bar and they need you to save them. Um, as a younger driver, so when you just learned to drive, that was exciting because you were driving and you've never driven before and it was just a really exciting part of your life. And now that you're older and you've been driving for 10 plus years, I don't want to fucking do that. I don't want to drive us to go get lunch. They're, they have delivery for a reason. I don't want to drive us to another s state. Am I boring you? I don't want to drive us to another state. I don't want to sit in the driver's seat and concentrate on one thing for that fucking long. Like, And I certainly don't want to come pick your drunk ass up at the bar, but as our friends and as responsible, contributing people of society we do that. We go and get our drunk friends from the bar because that is what we want to do to keep our friends safe because we love you and we drive you to go get food because there are starving children in Africa and we drive you to another state because half the time you're gonna get fucking wasted once you get there so why not? Um, next thing would be deciding where to eat and this is a big one for me because as a kid our parents knew what we would and wouldn't eat we're not gonna eat chicken nuggets so we're gonna go to Burger King but we don't like <coughs> Burger King burgers so we're gonna go to Wendy's but we don't like Wendy's fries so we're gonna go to McDonald's but we don't like McFlurries we want blizzards so we're going to Dairy Queen and that is the struggle we come up with as an adult because our parents didn't give two shits or a fuck if we wanted a blizzard or a McFlurry when we were a kid, we knew they knew that we would eat 
what was at one of those places. So you just constantly went to one of those places. And now that we are an adult and we have to make this decision for ourselves and then find someone to drive us there, um, which sometimes, most of the time, is ourselves, is a struggle. I don't like it. I just want someone to bring me food and I don't even care what it is. Just bring it to me. I don't want to go get it. I don't want to drive that far. I also want to know why as we tripped and fell or walked into the wrong bathroom or um, something along those lines. As a kid, everyone chalked it up to well, he's just being a kid. He's silly kid. Yeah, it was a mistake that kids make. And now when you do those things, it's not funny. And no one is just like, it's just an adult. They're laughing at you. Or they're silently judging you from across the other side of the room. For fuck's sake, help me up and ask me if I'm okay. That's what I want you to do. But as an adult, that doesn't happen anymore. Especially if you walk into the wrong fucking bathroom. Like, that's not a funny, haha, you're just a kid thing. That's a fucking lawsuit. And that sucks. Because sometimes we get drunk and signs look the same. Uh, and the last thing that I want to talk about is when we go to stay at other people's houses. Because we, when we were a kid, we were in school. We were like, hey, Sam, you should see if your mom will let me stay at your house this weekend. And it was exciting because it was planned. And you brought your video games, and you got to play with your friends' puppies, and it was exciting. And now, as an adult, we don't stay somewhere because we want to, usually. We stay there because we have to. Because we're so drunk, or tired, or it like our house is just too far away, and you just don't want to do it. We don't stay anywhere anymore because we want to. No one plans sleepovers, or get-togethers, or shit like that where you end up staying overnight it's cause you have to and it sucks and I wish we had sleepovers and stuff like that but I think at this point if we did any sleepovers that were planned it would just be like wines and wine against, and cards against humanity and I need to plan a sleepover that sounds like a good idea um so there's your video for this week I know I talked kind of fast um but I wanted you to have a shorter video this week. I don't want you to have to sit through 10 minutes. And we're down to 7 minutes and 31 seconds. Woo! So, yeah, there you go. There's your video for this week. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. See you next Friday.